I'd just like to spend a couple of minutes on a very important subject, which is carpal tunnel syndrome. This is a pretty common presentation of pain in the hand and wrist. And um, the question is, as a practitioner, how can you differentiate carpal tunnel syndrome from myofascial pain? And the uh, essence of it is that you're dealing with two different types of pain. So myofascial pain is pain arising from within muscles. The quality of the pain tends to be aching. It may be stabbing. Um, the distribution of the pain tends to be kind of diffuse. You can't quite, you know, it's just like people say, and they just, they put a hand and they say, oh, this is the, the type of pain. Okay, so that is myofascial pain. Diffuse, aching, sometimes stabbing, associated with stiffness. Carpal tunnel, on the other hand, is neuropathic pain. So this is pain where a nerve is being pinched or irritated. So the quality of the pain is quite different. Now you're dealing with, and everybody has hit their funny bone. So if you hit your funny bone, what you get is you get a electric shock shooting pain, which runs in the distribution of the nerve. So it tends to be a pretty well-defined band of pain, and it is associated with numbness and tingling. So carpal tunnel pain is of a different quality. So as I described when I, as I, described when I was talking about um, forearm flexor muscles, that the carpal tunnel is bounded on each side, on the bottom and on the sides here, by a number of carpal bones. And then over the top, there is a thick fibrous band creating a tunnel. And all the tendons that flex your hands, and there's tendons which are deep and superficial tendons, they all run through the space. Okay, now there is one nerve, which is the median nerve, and it runs through the middle of the same space. Okay, now the median nerve supplies, has a very specific zone that it supplies. It supplies feeling to the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and half of the ring finger. That's its zone. So, People who have a carpal tunnel syndrome will have shooting electric -y pain with numbness and tingling in this side of their hand, never in the little finger. The time that it will occur most commonly is when you have been lying down. So for, for a lot of people, it occurs in the early hours of the morning or when they wake up in the morning because the space, what we're dealing with is the amount of pressure that occurs in this tiny little tunnel. If you're lying down, the fluid that is dropped down into the lower half of your body gets redistributed and you have increased fluid in the carpal tunnel itself. So people tend to wake up, their hands are tingling, they feel awful. And the classic thing that they do, and they do this because people always search for a solution, is they stand up and they swing their arm around and they flap it around like this. And by doing this, what you're doing is you're dissipating extra fluid that has built up in the carpal tunnel itself. It also occurs with driving. That's a very common time. And it occurs at other times where you've used your wrist a lot. It's much more common in women who are pregnant. Again, because they have increased fluid in their system. So 
the carpal tunnel syndrome pain and distribution is very specific and the tests that you do for it are again simple so if you if you if you what you wanting to do is you want to uh, test whether the median nerve is, is irritated there are two tests the first one is Tennell's the carpal tunnel the, the median nerve runs through the middle and in Tennell's test you just tap and if you tap and the nerves irritated you set an electric shock going into your hand the second is Phelan's test which is that you put your thumb over the over the carpal tunnel you flex like this and you press in and if you do that and you leave it for 60 seconds but the majority of people who have significant carpal tunnel after 20 30 seconds they say oh it doesn't feel so good and they start doing this so those are your clinical tests to to rule out or in carpal tunnel but largely it's a clinical diagnosis understanding that it's neuropathic pain not myofascial pain thank you